Welcome back to Diggs Man's Kitchen. Well, tonight we're going to do some deer venison wraps. So we're going to get the egg cranked up first. So I've already got the coals ready and I'm um, going to go ahead and get this thing fired up. I like using a chimney to get everything fired up. And I'll leave that open for about three minutes like that and then I'll come and close the top in a few minutes. And then, and then tonight what I'm going to use is I'm going to go ahead and soak some Jack Daniels hickory smoked chips so that we can put this on the deer meat which will make it taste really good so we'll go ahead and soak those for about 30 minutes and um, so we'll go ahead and get the grill fired up and uh, we'll go inside right. and show you the how we do the venison. deer meat that I'm using tonight I'm using some of the back loin um, you know when you cut up a deer you can get some spots that have a lot of gristle and not you want to try to use the best meat that you can get it also works great with the tenderloin or the back strap uh, but what I've done just to save some time is I've gone ahead and prepared all the meat in strips about a quarter inch thick probably about four or five inches long in total. And um, I've already um, meat tenderized all the meat. If you don't have a meat tenderizer, you can actually use a beer bottle or a Coke bottle or something and just kind of pound down on it like that. And that works also if you don't have a meat tenderizer. But this is one of my absolute favorite ways to do deer meat. So what you do is you take them, you get them in the strips. I've gone ahead and spread some cream cheese on them. Just some good old cr cream cheese. And then what I like to use is the, uh, the slice and dice jalapeno peppers like this in the jar. And basically what you do is you just take those and put about that much <clears throat> on each piece of the deer meat. And just kind of work your way all around. And then, just to give you a couple of, so that I can give you some examples. And then what you do is you take a skewer <clears throat> and you roll this piece of deer meat up just like that. And then you take a half a piece of bacon. I've already got this bacon ready and cut in half. So you roll that up like that. And then you take the bacon and you roll it around it. Take a skewer and go just like that <clears throat> for, um, for all of the deer wraps. So that you just work your way all around. I like to try to do maybe you know, three or four. You want to have some space in between the deer meat on each of them so that the smoke flavor can get all the way around the deer meat. So that's how I do the wraps and I space them about that far apart and I can probably get about four on there. So I'll get all these done and then we'll head back outside. Okay as you can see the coals are fired up really good. So <clears throat> you know what I need to do? I should have brought another glove. Got to dump those coals out right there. It's good and hot. What I want to do for this recipe is I want to try to get everything cooled down to about 500 degrees for uh, for this recipe. The deer meat you don't want to cook it too fast, and I like to cook it to about a medium rare. So um, so now we've got uh, the egg will come up to temperature just a second. I got to give props to my brother Travis and brother-in-law Hardy because they taught me this recipe. So it's a it's a great way to cook deer meat. And uh, everybody in the family will like it. So um, so we'll let this regulate, and then we'll be back out in a minute. All right, we uh, are back out, and the grill is at about 550 degrees. So always be sure to burp your egg before you uh, fully open it up. Just not burn yourself. So um, so everything's looking good inside. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take those, um, those Jack Daniels hickory chips and get those out and spread those over the fire. So we're going to spread those out. Like that, and those will start smoking up real good in just a second. So, and here are the deer wraps that I've got all prepared and ready. So, I'm gonna get those out here. These will only have to run about three and a half to four minutes per side. I'm gonna get these on fast. What you're really trying to do is cook the meat to about a medium rare um, to medium, depending on how you like your deer meat. But I like it the more you cook it, <clears throat> the tougher that it's gonna get. I'm doing a little bit of chicken around the outside to go along with it. So that looks about good right there. So what we'll do is we'll uh, set the timer on three and a half minutes and check back on that and flip those over. And then we'll go three and a half minutes on the other side and then they should be ready to roll. So that should put it right at about a medium rare at 500 degrees. All right, we're just going to do a quick check. I flipped them already. So we're going to give it another quick check to see how things are looking. to give them a test. I don't want to overcook them. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty good. So we'll just give that a couple more minutes and, and those will be done. 
So we'll be right back with you. But that is how you make venison deer wraps. So uh, try them at home and you will absolutely love them. Until next time.